we can prove Boolean theorems using two methods, um, either perfect induction, also called proof by exhaustion, or method two, um, using axioms and theorems to simplify an equation, or in other words, make one side of the equation look like the other. So perf proof by perfect induction, again, is called proof by exhaustion. So basically, we're checking every possible input value and seeing if the expressions on either side um, produce the same value for every possible input combination or every possible variable value. And so here's an example of covering, which we can prove by um, either method. So here we have the covering theorem, and we can look at both sides of the equation. We'll start with first this, um, this sub term here, this, this term here, B or C. Well, B or C is just 0, 1, 1, 1. So those combinations of, of B and C. And then B and B or C is just this column and it with this column. And so we're going to get 0 and whatever, the B or C column, but 0 and anything is just 0. So those two rows are 0. And then we get B and, so well, B is 1, so B and um, B or C, which is also 1. So both those columns are 1 in those two cases. And so we get 0, 0, 1, 1. And we can see that this is just equal to the same as column B. So in fact, B and B or C, this column, is equal to just B. So we can also prove that this theorem is true using other axioms and theorems. So we start with B and B or C, and we're trying to make it look like this other side of the, of the expression. So we can start by using distributivity, B and B. So we're distributing this B across that and um, expression, B and B, or, here's our or, and the second term, B and C. So that's using distributivity. And then we'll see that we have B and B here. We can use idempotency to say that that's just equal to B. So let me get B or BC. And you can see how we're keeping these, these columns you know, in the same alignment here, vertical um, or um, horizontal alignment. And now we notice that, well, we have this term B ordered with B and something else. So this first B term are, covers that more constrained case. So this is just equal to B using um, our covering theorem. And so in fact, we did get our left side equation or expression, B and quantity B or C, and made it equal to B. And here shows another step of, of um, proving this theorem is true using other axioms and theorems. This is just a, another method. Um, again, often, you know, many methods to show the same thing. So even though first we use distributivity, and then we, again, use idempotency, but here, instead of covering, we use the null element theorem, where b is equal to just b and 1. And then we factor out using distributivity, we factor out the b and get b and quantity 1 or c. No element, 1 or anything, is just 1. And b and 1 using identity is just b. We can also prove that combining is true using other axioms and theorems. So we can start with this left side. We get b and c or b and c bar. We want to make that equal to the expression on the right. Well, we can factor out a b using distributivity. We get b and c or c bar. So let me use distributivity in that step. And now we know that c or c bar is just equal to 1 using complements. 
complements. And we get B and 1. Well, B and 1 is just B using identity. And so, in fact, using other axioms and theorems, we have proved, proven that um, B and C or B and C bar is just equal to B. With De Morgan's theorem, we're showing how we can distribute a bar over an anded term or distribute a bar over an ORD term. So in words, the complement of the product is the sum is the same as the sum of the complements. So if we have a product term and we have a complement of that product, the complement of the product is the same as or is equal to the sum, the OR, we place that these ands here with ORs of the complements. So then we bring over the terms and then we complement them. The dual form is that the complement of the sum is the same as or is equal to the product of the complements. So if we have a sum term or an ORD term, we have the complement of that sum or that ORD term. That's the same as or equal to, we change the ORs to ANDs, bring over the terms, and complement each of the terms. So the complement of the sum is the same as or equal to the product of the complements of each of those terms. <laughs>